Hello! So today we're kind of not go doing the logic world repair video. We actually have a data recovery video to do to show you a service that we offer on these boards right here. This is a touch bar. This is a 2016 touch bar board. Um, the critical thing about these, or the frustrating thing really, is the way Apple designed them. Uh, your storage is actually soldered onto the board. So if your board fails, all your storage is stuck on the board. You can't just remove a hard drive like you typically would with any other laptop and plug it into another one to recover your data. No, with this one, your information is soldered onto the board. So say that you're using the machine and you spill some uh, liquid, uh, your water or whatever you're drinking, onto the machine. Well, at that point, if the machine t turns off, uh, you can almost just say goodbye to your data. Unless, uh, you send it to us. We actually have a tool that's able to um, recover the data without even having to have the board powered on, uh, which is very nice uh, for this particular board. Uh, we've used it a couple times and I just decided I would do a video on it to kind of show you what uh, what's entailed in it and um, show you that the service we do offer does work. What we have is the customer had sent us a um, hard drive, external hard drive, so that he could recover his data off of it and he sent us his logic board uh, to get the data off of. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in this into our test bench here, or our test um, touch bar machine. Uh, plug it in and get it set up and ready to transfer the data over to it. And I'll go ahead and zoom in here so I can show you what I'm doing. So you see that his drive popped up here. However, this isn't formatted correctly for a Mac, so we're going to go into um, Disk Utility. And format this drive to get it ready for um, the data. Let's call it, we're going to call it backup. Mac OS extended journal. Gonna erase that drive. Alright, so we got it erased here and it's ready for uh, all the information, all the data to be transferred over to it. So here we are, empty folder or empty hard drive. All right, so we're good there. So we're going to keep it like that. And now I'm going to show you the tool that we use uh, to back up this data. So here we have um, this tool that uh, Apple has designed so it can be plugged in uh, to uh, the, the touch bar board. And if you've ever seen the board, you may have wondered what this little uh, connector is here, uh, right here is for. It's for the data. So I'm going to place it in this little um, safety bench here that uh, kind of keeps it uh, safe and then we're going to plug in this connector just like so. All right, we got that plugged in and I'm going to plug in the power now to the box. Okay, so now let's go back over to the computer Let's open up Disk Utility again and see if it's showing up for us. Oh, there it is. So it's asking for the password. I'm going to type the password in now since the customer has given us that so we can get the data off of it. All right. So now you see that the, um, the storage from the touch bar board is now showing up as an external hard drive. So here we go. Here's all the folders. Um, just like you would see if you were to log into your machine uh, with this board. So we're going to highlight all these and we're just going to drag them over to the backup folder here, for the backup hard drive. And it's going to copy all this data over uh, and get it backed up. And this may take some time because there is going to be a lot of information on this board uh, that needs to be transferred over. All right, so as you can see, we're approaching, uh, we have five minutes left uh, to transfer all this data. That's 487 gigs of data. Uh, that's almost done transferring now. Um, and this will be completed. We'll have all the data transferred over and uh, we'll have this uh, ready to send the board back and this uh, hard drive that he sent in with all of his data saved over and transferred over to his hard drive 
so he can have his data turns or data saved and uh, continue working when he gets another replacement machine. So anyways, that's um, the process of doing this and uh, fortunately this uh, this has worked flawlessly. It just took a little over three hours to transfer the data um, because it was a lot of data to transfer over. So anyways, um, it was successful and uh, we got everything backed up for him. So this is good. So as you can see guys, we do offer this service uh, for data recovery on the touch bar machine. If you go to our homepage, which is uh, powerbookmedic.com, uh, at the top you see where it says send in repair. You just put your uh, cursor over that, go down to MacBook Pro with touch bar data recovery. And that takes you to the page where you can schedule the repair. As you'll see, there's two options with this. With this option it says, when you send in your MacBook Pro to our facility for repair, you can add on a data recovery service for an extra flat fee. We'll transfer the data from your logic board to the replacement. So if you send in your board uh, for data recovery, or if you send in your board for a logic board repair, in other words, um, and for some reason we're just not able to um, repair the board, say the board's cracked or something's wrong with it to where we just cannot repair it or it's just not feasibly possible to repair it and you want to go ahead and purchase a replacement board from us, what we'll do is we'll transfer over the data from uh, your old board to the new board for just, just an extra $99 uh, on top of the repair cost. Now if you send in just your larger board for data, recover, data recovery only, um, there's this option which is $150, uh, which is just a standalone data recovery um, plus the cost of um, the hard drive to transfer it to or if you want to send us um, your hard drive like this customer did with his just make sure that you send uh, a hard drive that's sufficient enough has enough space on it so that we can transfer over the data if you send us a drive that doesn't have enough space then we're just gonna have to sell you a drive anyways uh, so that um, you can have all of your data back um, and again that cost is $150 um, and if you send us your hard drive, your own hard drive with that, it's just 150 bucks. Or if you don't uh, do that, then it's the $150 plus the cost of the hard drive. Uh, so anyways, that gives you a little uh, bit of help on how to get that scheduled with us. Uh, if you are interested in sending us your touch bar for data recovery, uh, please just visit our website at powerbolmedia.com. Uh, again, at the top where it says send and repair, put your cursor over that and go down to MacBook Pro with touch bar data recovery and click on that and you can get that scheduled uh, right there on the, on the website. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, I hope this video was helpful to you, and I hope we can help you out with any uh, repair needs in your future. All right, have a nice day.